Welcome to Bytor Underground Simply, where I discuss my thoughts, concerns, and questions about music. In this episode, I'm going to ask the question, do people miss CDs? Do people miss CDs? I mean, do you miss CDs? When it comes to listening to music these days, it is so easy and so convenient. I mean, you pretty much have every song in the palm of your hand. Either it's you download it to your phone, you stream it on YouTube, Apple Music, or Spotify. I mean, it's crazy. You pretty much have access to every single song out there. I mean, it's cool. I mean, it's pretty cool. But when asking that question to people, do you miss CDs? Do you even know what a CD is? And of course, the ones that do, you know, most of the time, people say, yeah, I do. I do miss CDs. I miss the physical copy in my hand. I miss the booklet. I miss reading all the lyrics. I mean, it's, it's interesting to hear that, and I totally understand what they're saying. I mean, I grew up listening to CDs, and one person put it like, it's like getting a handwritten letter. I thought that was really interesting because it is, it's like that. You know, there's just something about having that physical item in your hand of something that you really care about. I mean, it's cool. And CDs, they've been around since the early 80s. And I mean, like I said, I grew up with CDs. And so when asking the question, it really got me thinking. And, you know, I have been thinking this for a while. I do miss CDs. I miss being able to listen to my favorite bands on the radio and hear that they're going to be releasing a new CD soon and you know they announce the date of when it comes out and when that day comes I go to Target or Walmart, go to the music section, find the CD, look at the album art pretty much for the first time, buy it. And then, you know, not knowing what the album sounds like besides, you know, a couple singles that maybe were released, but debating, should I rip it open now, play it in my car, or should I just wait till I get home? So typically I'd wait till I would get home, open the packaging, look through the booklet right away, check out all the cool pictures, and then either get my portable CD player or a boom box and start just listening to the album and song by song, just reading the lyrics as the song's playing. I mean, there was something so cool and special about that that I don't do anymore these days. I mean, I have Apple Music and it is it is really cool to have access to everything for like 10 bucks a month, everything. But, you know, when I come across an album for the first time, you know, with the CD, like I said, I'd be reading the lyrics looking at all the pictures but with Apple Music I mean sure I can look up the lyrics but you know I don't do that and so there's something really cool about being able to do that with CDs and just going to a record store and buying a CD with packaging and opening it up I mean it was really cool so yes I do miss CDs personally and I would love to hear what you think about this I would love to hear if you grew up with CDs. Do you miss having CDs? So please comment below. I love to hear from you guys. And if you like what I'm doing, please hit that subscribe button. It is time for the song of the week. This week, I chose one of my favorite Seattle bands and good friends of mine in the band called Waking Things. And I chose their song, That Rotten Feeling. In this past week, I've been really in the mood to listen to Waking Things, and I was checking out their latest EP. And really, I think one of the best songs off of that EP is That Rotten Feeling. It's totally the type of song that I like. I love the vibe of the song. I love the guitars in it. I think it's really cool that Chris sings in the first verse. And in the second verse, Samantha sings. I just think that's such a cool dynamic, and I like how they harmonize together in the chorus. 
and just the musicianship in that song is really tight and really solid. The drumming is solid, the bass playing is very solid, and the verses will get stuck in your head. And so, if you have not heard of Waking Things, please check out this song and check them out. They are definitely badass and great people. Oh.